Hi, this is Terry Stripling with 1080. I'm here at the Consumer Electronics Show, CES show in Las Vegas. We're here in the Horizon Fuel Cell booth because we're partnering through the Fast Track RC program to create a hydrogen hybrid fuel cell car as a part of the Pit Now Challenge. So this is a prototype version of the Fast Track RC car. It's the typical HPI racing chassis. And some students in Colorado are working with some of our NASCAR engineers to make this a race-ready car, one that could actually compete with a car that does not have the fuel cell on it and control box like this one does. So this car runs off the typical chemical battery. The difference with it is there's a fuel cell installed that runs off of stored hydrogen. The purpose of putting the fuel cell on here is to extend the drive range. So as every Fast Track RC team knows, a chemical battery will only last 10-15 minutes at peak power. With the fuel cell on, you extend the driving range two to three times. So especially for the Pit Now race, where students are challenged to charge their battery without plugging into the wall, the fuel cell option is very attractive. For the endurance race especially, driving for 2.4 hours, imagine how well you could perform if you only had to recharge two, perhaps three times. So the fuel cell that's been installed on the Fast Track RC car actually is fueled by stored hydrogen. Hydrogen is stored in this called the hydro stick, the metal hydride inside. The hydrogen is stored in a solid form, not dangerous, this thing's not under high pressure. The hydro stick from Horizon Fuel Cell holds about 11 watt hours worth of hydrogen in solid form. So inside here is a metal hydride. So how does the hydrogen get in there? Through the hydrofill. This is the world's first tabletop hydrogen refueling system. Only by putting in water and electricity you get hydrogen in this little guy. So the stick screws right inside there, plug it into the wall, or use a solar panel for free energy. Water inside of here, through electrolysis, the hydrogen and oxygen are split. The hydrogen is absorbed into the metal hydride. It takes about an hour. Okay. So after about an hour, this thing's got your 11 watt hours of energy, worth of energy, hydrogen in here. The advantage of this one over a typical chemical battery is that if I charge it today and I pull it out of my closet two years from now, the stored energy is still there. The potential energy is still in there. If I lose it or throw it away, there's nothing toxic in here. 